gives light to everyone who was coming into the world. John 1 verse 9. Throughout scripture, darkness often represents evil and falsehood, while light represents goodness, truth, and holiness. We naturally fill our homes with light and do our best to avoid dark places where danger may linger in the shadows. Therefore, it comes as no surprise that Jesus assumes this title, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. But there is more to that statement than we may first realize. Jesus illuminates our lives with his brilliance, shining into every nook and cranny. Even the revelation of hidden sin is a gift, like the fortunate early diagnosis of a deadly cancer. He reveals not only our sins, but also all that is beautiful surrounding us. He awakens our souls to the see the history of redemption and the wonderful works of God all around us. As David says, in your light, we see light. Those who believe in Jesus will go to be with him. At death, those separated from him will enter darkness and gloom, but we will live in everlasting light and joy with Jesus. This truth gives us hope because no matter how gloomy our lives may be this side of eternity, we know that our future destination is the kingdom of light where there will be no night no darkness, no tears, and no distress. As Jesus is the light of the world, so he sends us as lights into our world to illuminate our surroundings with his love and light. Just as the moon reflects the sun's light, so we may also reflect Jesus' light, loving our families and neighbors, serving our church and community with our spiritual gifts, and sharing truth in love in a bleak world. Jesus, the light of the world has placed us in a particular time and place in history, in the lives of specific people within a specific place to shine brightly for him. Holding forth the word of life in a million different little ways. We carry his light within us and those who see it cannot help but be attracted to this light. The true light desires to give light to everyone. And what's even more amazing is he wants to use us, his people, to spread that light. Oh, great light of the world, fill up my soul with your dazzling presence. Thank you for shining your light in my life. Open my eyes to see the wonderful works of your hand all around me. And help me do the work you've called me to without complaining or arguing. Shining like the stars within the crooked and dark world. Awaken my soul to you and help me shine brightly right where you've placed me. Amen. The holiday season is filled with lights. Strings of lights on Christmas trees, colorful lights on rooftops, inflatable light-up figures on front lawns, and lighted signs announcing the best sales of the season. It's easy to allow the commercial light pollution to drown out the shining light within us. Today, ask the Spirit to shine God's light in your life and help you see God's work all around you. Then, ask Him to shine through you so that others may see the hope of life eternal and turn to Him.